Other than that, I'm ready. But see, nowadays, I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill. I'm going to be on my chill shit because I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm snack daddy now. You know what I'm saying? Snacky daddy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just chill in the cut. You know, I ain't got to do too much. <laughs> I'll be gassing myself. If you don't gas you, who else will? I guess they haven't been romantic yet. Easy's patient. <laughs> Excited I'm for, not. I don't know, just to get to know Easy better. Like, I honestly feel like I know basically everything I mean, about her. Like here. I said, we're, we're twin souls. Sit right here. We're literally yin. Sit right here. I need to talk to you. Talking to you, having a conversation, but I, I need to really speak with you. You know what I'm saying? I need to speak with you, you know? Please. Let's talk. <laughs>what's up y'all sugar and eg the host and today i'm back with another reaction video now i'm trying my best to you know do right by y'all so while i'm watching this video my phone in the room you know what i'm saying <laughs> i know that sounds so childish but you know i be needing my phone sometimes but while i'm reacting to natalie and easy y'all be wanting my undivided attention Okay, so my best friend and I are officially dating on Natalie's channel. Y'all didn't even have to tell me. First video chat with the end. We about to get to it, you heard? <clears throat> Before we go any further though, make sure y'all, I'm gonna start saying this shit. Make sure y'all like, okay? Comment, all right? And subscribe to this freaking channel, okay? And most importantly, welcome to the league. I don't know. I'm trying to figure some shit out. I just, I, I want it to be dope. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be. I uh, only do dope shit. All right. Um. But other than that, let's get to it. Let's get it. This video was filmed before I went to Miami. Ah, oh, damn. How I really feel. Damn. If I had to say like something else that scares me, what if? It doesn't work out between us. Hey, baddies. What's up, guys? So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different and fun, and I wanted to do a little girl's time, if you will. So you're going to get ready with me a little bit, and we're going to just chit-chat. I'm going to, I don't know, you know when you're, like, hanging out with your girls, and you guys kind of just, like, start gossiping about life, what's going on in your life, and y'all do your makeup together. That's what we're about to do right now. But before we do all of that, I just wanted to give my baddies a little message, and I don't know who needs to hear this, whether it's one, two, or all of you, but you are enough, okay? You know why? Because you're a baddie in every form of the word, all right? You're beautiful enough, Here. you're smart enough, you're Here. kind enough, you're loving enough, you are all of that. And Here. you're a boss on top of it all. All right, I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I fill you guys in on a crazy topic. Um, my last video says it all, all right? So my best friend confessed her love to me. In my last video, I was telling you guys about how confused I was and I didn't know what I wanted to do and all of that, but I'm here to tell you what I did and update you on how things are going. All right, let's get into the video. It's crazy, let's go. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I don't care if it snows. I guess I'm out of my mind. Take me back to Manhattan. Back to the city where the magic happens. You wear your suit and tie and I will wear my satin. When all the lights are bright and we won't even... Okay, baddies. So as you can see, my edges are already laid. I did that off camera, okay? And I got the vibes going. And a little candle burning. All right, okay. I'm set the tone for y'all. All right, so in my I last give me a video, candle you guys too. probably saw that, you know... <laughs> Poor little Tink Tink was super confused, all right? I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a lot of confusing feelings because I knew that there was something there. I knew I felt something about Easy, but I didn't know if I wanted to explore it only because, like, I was really just scared of losing the friendship, honestly. That was literally the only reason. And, you know, after a lot... You know... I just want to bring it to y'all's attention that she hasn't said anything about remotely being lesbian. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't heard her say anything about, like, well, she said something like, you know, I've been straight for all my life, whatever, but it's almost like in this situation, that just doesn't matter. It's like you just have two humans that really like each other. I don't feel like girl vibes, like, oh my God, this is just a gay situation. I don't feel that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Out of like deep conversations and thoughts and meditating and all of that, I decided that I would never forgive myself if, you know, years went by, I ended up with some wrong person and she ended up with somebody else and I just have to watch them be happy from the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Like I know I'm like I'm saying it playfully, but in the moment, like that's all I could think of. That's literally all I could picture was her being happy with someone else and me just wishing that I would have been open minded enough to give it a chance, you know? So if you guys haven't seen the compilation of videos um that span it over like a week, it's about like five videos. Y'all have to check them all out, like the whole series of videos, like it was literally one of the most intense moments of my life. Let's just say that. Okay. Right. I don't know how y'all breathe with that shit. So, I don't want to, you know, give a spoiler alert, but, you know, Easy and I decided that we wanted to try things out. Like, I figured, you know, what the heck, all right? You only live once, and I'm young, so okay. now's the time to do it. You know, and I really do love her, like, a lot. Like, I've spent every day with her pretty much in over the past three years. And I figured, all right, if we're gonna try it out, now's the time, okay? Cause we ain't getting no younger. Okay. No, we're not. You know, things are a little bit, you know, different between us. I mean, honestly, in a lot of ways, it still feels really the same. Um, you know, she's my best friend and she's always gonna be my best friend. It doesn't matter if, you know, this and them, honestly, like, it worked out and we even got married. Like, wouldn't that be crazy? Like, we ended up getting married. That would be crazy, but the fact that she even giving it an option, like the fact that that's even that <laughs> still be my best friend we are twin souls all right twin souls like she, she finishes my sentences i finish her sentences we know everything about each other and i think that's such a good foundation for yes. a romantic relationship uh -huh. so that's never gonna change but that is, <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm still in shock that we're doing this like we're really doing this guys but you know we're taking it slow and i think that that is something that i'm so appreciative of over you know when it comes to easy because she's not like rushing anything things haven't gotten like super i guess weird or serious or you know what i mean like it still just feels like best friends but i'm still nervous about like <laughs> guys i'm still so nervous about like everything like our first kiss, going on dates, even like introducing her to like my extended family and nobody can tell me they haven't kissed before. Like I never believe that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they kissed before all this shit even happened. That's probably what got Easy feeling the way she feeling. Easy probably they probably kissed one day. Easy was like it's a wrap. It's just meeting her extended family. It feels good, baddies, to be able to um, vent to you guys about this, honestly. Um, because I do feel like, you know, y'all are my girls and boys, like, whatever. And I just oh, feel me. like y'all support me so much. So if you guys have any type of advice on, like, how I should go about this and stuff like that, make sure you guys drop those below because I do listen to everybody. And also follow me on Instagram. You guys can give me advice. Be open. Literally open. Okay? And just let her have it all up. It's over there yeah. on my Twitter. I've been uh, really active on Twitter lately, so let's just chit chat, okay? I don't know where it's gonna go from here. All I know is that, you know, I really do love her, like with all of my heart. I think y'all can tell though, like, I don't even feel like I have to tell you guys this. Like, easy really means everything to me. Um, and I think we both show it a lot in the things that we do for each other, um, the way we look at each other, 
you know, the way we talk to each other and support each other. Speaking of, though, the things that we do for each other, if you guys have not seen um, Easy's birthday celebration, you guys have to go check it's it out, like, right after you finish watching this video. <laughs> Head over to Easy and Natalie and see Easy's epic birthday surprise, because I must say, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it. Y'all let me know what you think after you go watch it. Anyway, you know, I really wanna thank you guys, though, for all of the overwhelming support that you have been giving Easy and I. Like, and especially me, because being that this is so different for me, um, the fact that I'm trying something that I literally never in a million years would have thought that I would, um, and you guys have made me feel so much comfort in all of the kind um, comments and even letting us know how this has helped you. Um, you know, whether it be feeling confident in who you are or coming out to somebody who you're in love with, girl or guy or same sex or, you know, opposite sex. Okay, whatever. whoever, it don't matter. We're blown away. Honestly, it's so touching and I never expected that our little love story would have affected you guys in that at that capacity so i just want to say thank you guys like really from the bottom of my heart thank you for supporting and loving us the way that you have we have a lot of new supporters and that's just beautiful so welcome to the family welcome to the baddies empire or welcome to the Neasy gang uh whatever the case may be we love you and we're super excited to have you on board i'm not gonna lie though baddies i mean there's a lot that i would say that i'm excited about but then there's also a lot that i'm scared about like literally having nightmares about you know and then there's stuff i'm dreaming about and i'm like like what like it literally still I wanna know. real like when I wake up in the morning and I'm like um you know like how are we gonna be today you know like what's gonna happen today like, oh how are things going to just like continue progressing like are oh. we gonna start like sleeping together every night you know of course we slept together you know before and stuff and not like anything too intense but like is it going to get romantic and when it does am i gonna be awkward i guess that's something i want to tell you guys i can be kind of awkward sometimes i'm not gonna lie and especially like if i'm in a situation that i've never been before usually my first kisses are awkward say i just like started talking to somebody right and they lean in for the kiss for the first time I guarantee it's gonna be awkward the first time. They're probably gonna think like, I don't know how to kiss the first time. Oh no. Because I usually like my first Well no, that, that's happened with me before. But it's cause I was rushing the kiss. I used to try and rush kisses, which I hate. Um, because I, I love kissing. I feel like that's where the romance is. That's when you know somebody really like, mm. I know if I could really go there with you, if you could kiss me correctly, cause I can kiss, you know what I'm saying? So it's like one time I can say like out of my whole life, I had one weird first interaction with a kiss. But um, other than that, I'm ready. But see nowadays I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna be on my chill shit cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm snack daddy now, you know what I'm saying? Snacky daddy, you know what I'm saying? So I'ma just chill in the cut, you know, I ain't gotta do too much. <laughs> I'll be gassing myself. If you don't gas you, who else will? Come on. Usually like, oh. Unless if there's like real romance behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I wasn't expecting it, you're gonna be able to tell, honey, I was not expecting you to do that. Hold up, really it is. I'm not ready. <laughs> but I don't know, somehow I, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe that would be the case with Easy. I could always tell that if Easy was in a relationship, she would be like the most romantic and just sweet person ever. She treated me like a lot of times, like I was already her girlfriend, guys. And I don't know, maybe that's kind of a part of the reason why I kind of fell for her and didn't realize that's what was happening. But from like the surprises and just, I don't know the support. Okay. Like, let me tell y'all a story real quick. Like, okay. the support was so real from the beginning. Like, I feel like low key easy knew what she 
was doing. She, she swore she didn't doing. know, but honestly, if you ask me, she knew. Oh, she knew. <laughs> I still remember this thing that happened that made me realize, like, dang, like, Easy is the sweetest person alive, you know? Um, and I was like, I'm so lucky to have her as a friend, you know? So what happened was, I was in a relationship when I first moved to LA. Um, and it was like, you know, it had been like a year that I was in a relationship. And I don't know, it was, you know what you can kind of just tell like a relationship is like coming to the end, like things just aren't the way that it used to be. I don't know, it seems like you're starting to argue more than not. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like you're in a situationship. I don't know, it almost feels like the relationship becomes like toxic you know what i'm yeah. saying like it feels like all right this is not enjoyable anymore like okay. i don't even feel like i'm enjoying this relationship it I felt like the, the relationship was about to end anyway i was like going through a phase where i was just arguing with him all of the time like oh my god it was so annoying anyway but, Easy was always super supportive, guys. Like she and her, this, mind you, this was like the beginning of our friendship. Like not the beginning, the beginning, but this is when we first started getting really close and hanging out all the time. I don't know. She was always so supportive, and she hated to hear that we were like arguing. You know, she always would just try to cheer me up. I remember one time I was having a really bad day. Like I felt like I was arguing with everyone in my life. I got into a huge argument with my boyfriend. Friend. I think I even argued with my brother over some of the stupids, like some of the siblings argue over. And she knew this. And how about Easy shows up to my house with champagne and lollipops and just like other snacks and stuff? She was like, let's hang out, like let's watch a movie, whatever. She and knew what she was doing. It was just so dope. Like, no one had ever did anything like that for me just because I was texting her telling her that I was stressed <laughs> But I feel like low-key that was her way to like slide on in there so, Nah, you know when you going through something and somebody else is going through something and clearly you you can be attracted to her And you know what I'm saying vicariously she was attracted to her as well You know what I'm saying easy was just already attracted to her. I would have been to him, but um you know you 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 don't have anybody and you want to do something sweet for somebody especially when you're a sweet person like i am a sweet person i like to do nice things you know especially if i feel like you deserve it you know what i'm saying and it don't matter if you my girl or not you know i can make you feel i can make you feel amazing i can't even even if you're not my woman you know what i'm saying easy to do what she was doing play on but anyway, baddies, I don't know. There's a lot that I'm actually really excited about with Easy, And well, when I, I look back on our home. stories of, you know, things that actually happened between us, I can see why all of y'all wanted us together. Like, I don't know. We really do have good chemistry. I guess y'all saw before I did, though. <laughs> but there are things that, you know, I'm really excited for, you know, to experience. You know, I feel like... This is a completely new chapter of my life. And then there's and then things that I'm a little me. nervous about and scared. Um, and I guess, you know, since I love my daddy, I'm gonna let y'all in on it a little bit. It's a little bit, I guess, personal, but you know, I don't know, y'all mean a lot to me. So, uh, you know, I just really want to start sharing more with you guys and just be honest, you know? So I guess I'll go down on the list of like things that I'm most excited for first. Um, one, I'm excited that your girl is finally going to get to go on a date. Come on, date. <laughs> like I sound so lonely right now. But honestly, guys, I have not went on, like, a date for at least a couple years. Damn. Like, I'm almost a It's because you've been with Easy. But honestly, <laughs> I'm just so, um, busy with, like, working all the time. Uh -huh. I haven't met anyone since I've been in LA I'm interested in going on a date with or anything so since I've been single I mean it's just been me and my best friend and work and like my family and that's it I haven't really been worried about like dating but the girl started to miss it I'm not gonna lie she was starting to feel a little bit lonely <laughs> right like a lot lonely and I would say like another thing that I'm excited for that I think is gonna like 
change a lot with our, you know, new little dynamic that's trying things out. We are each other's travel buddies. Like, no matter what, if she was ready to take a trip, I was down. Don't even ask me twice, you know? Like, okay. just book it. Actually, just book it, you know? Um, yeah, just book so it. So I'm excited for, like, our new dynamic to travel together because I think it's going to be, like, even more fun because it's going to be, like, a little bit romantic, I think. Then also just, like, fun, like, traveling best friend you know i'm also a little nervous for it because we haven't been romantic yet so i think like going somewhere by ourselves <laughs> i don't know like maybe that's gonna put the pressure on oh uh, i guess they haven't been romantic yet easy's patient <laughs> Excited I'm for, not. I don't know, just to get to know Easy better. Like, I honestly feel like I know basically everything I'm about her. Like I said, we're we're twin souls. Sit right like, here. We're literally yin. Sit right here. I need to talk to you. Talking to you, having a conversation, but I I need to really speak with you. You know what I'm saying? I need to speak with you. You know. Please. Let's talk. <laughs> I'm terrible. About each other, but I think that when you know somebody on just like a innocent level, I think it's a lot different than things that you're gonna learn on like a romantic level. You know, like I feel like she's gonna see sides of me that she's never seen before. <laughs> I'm gonna see sides of her that I've never seen before. So I think that's gonna be like a fun journey. <laughs> you know, it almost feels like you know when you first meet somebody and you're kind of like crushing on them a little bit and you're just excited and you're like Ooh, I can't wait to learn everything about him like what or her or her Ooh, you did what's your him. favorite color you know what I'm saying like oh my god what's your favorite ice cream and my strawberry you know what I mean like sharing all of that stuff like it's super exciting so I kind of feel like we're gonna get to do that now all right so those are the things that I'm excited about and then some of the things that I'm not really excited about and I would say I'm kind of like fearing is judgment you know like on a serious note like uh i know that the whole world isn't as open as you guys and i kind of feel like i'm in like a safe bubble you know with my baddies and the easy gang and i feel like y'all love us so much already that y'all are gonna accept us no matter what but y'all been know? looking but great scared to like face the judgment of I guess the rest of the world. Like y'all being I'm glad that I have y'all and I have easy and I have my family because you know, keeps me going and it makes me feel like I guess not as scared. I feel like y'all been say, doing it. Like something like, that's what it looks that like. scares me. What if it doesn't work out between us? You know? Honestly, like what what does happen with our friendship if it doesn't work? Easy and I guess what I hope it works. I'll play it work. Going to it's gonna work. Go always work. put the friendship first mm -hmm. and make sure that no matter what you know we walk away with a friendship if we walk away at all from like what we're exploring now but i don't know you know life happens and there's like no way to know for sure what yeah i'm a damn camera dad so yeah yeah i don't know you know love is in the air love always wins you dig what i'm saying that's why you know i ain't gonna care if i attempted to react to some drama today <laughs> And I just cannot get into it. Um, but love wins. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about love. And, you know, I'm going to get into some other videos like that Karen shit. Um, <clears throat> that my God and Clarence did. I got to I gotta react to that. But, yeah, other than that, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace.